Good day to you friends and followers, my name is Rayfox and welcome to the unboxing and opening of both the new Ghostbusters game as well as the collector's edition of Song of the Deep. Now the cool thing about Song of the Deep is, is this was a relatively cheap game that came out. Art style is pretty cool, I think pretty neat, and it's made by Insomniac which is one of my favorite studios and the ones behind Ratchet and Clank. Also they were the ones behind Jack and Daxter, so very cool. Now, one thing I will say is I don't think, oh, let's do that, what I don't think is that um, Ghostbusters is going to have really anything in it. I think, from what I can tell just by shaking it, that um, there's just a disc in here and they're not even those little slip things, but we're going to find out. So, without further ado, let's find out what we got in here. Alright guys, it is open, and what we have inside is exactly what I was expecting. We have a disc in here and we have a little insert. Telling you that the movie is coming out on the 15th and then there's also experience on PlayStation. I'm assuming it's for the original movies as well as the ability to probably pre-order the new movie. No, it just says PlayStation or yeah PlayStation Ghostbusters Blind Screen. So I'm assuming that means the movies. So there is this. There will be a game of this up before too long. Um, we'll test this out, show it off live stream a little bit maybe, and just kind of give an idea of how this works. I know this is tremendously different than the 2009 version, which was really popular. Really great game. If they had remastered that and released it, that would have been great. But I do know one of the biggest issues is that um, Bill Murray did not like Harold Ramis at all. It was kind of weird that they worked together in the movie, and they, they weren't really friends at all. They didn't really get along at all. But next thing's next. And the most important thing that we'll tell you guys is here is for Song of the Deep. Now, very cool because this does come with the uh, limited edition steelbook uh, casing as well as the hardcover book, which is by Brian Hastings. I was interested in reading this. I really don't know what this game is about entirely. I just happened to catch the price tag on it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. And then I checked in the collector's edition after seeing that there was a steelbook, which I'm a fan of. And there was also the hardcover of the book, and I'm a fan of books, so. And local GameStop said, no, we don't have the ability to get it for you, I'm sorry. And so I actually picked up the original version yesterday. And I was going to open it yesterday, and I was going to be like, hey, here's this game. But I figured, hey, Ghostbusters comes out tomorrow, I'll do two for one. And on top of that, rather than getting some gameplay in early and showing it to you, I would just try to get the collector's edition, just in the event that our GameStop had one left over. And they have a notorious um, track record of every once in a while, every couple of rare collector's things, they'll get one. Which happened last time with Last of Us for me. Um, so, I ended up getting it, and uh, I wanted to open this and just kind of show it off. Without me rambling anymore, let's do that. Oh, before I do that, one thing I want to point out is that there is this plastic um, piece on this. And uh, it does cover the sides here. It's actually on top. It's kind of like mix, uh, mix, uh, it meets on top, and so it's like this plastic, and then on top there's two flaps, and they meet right here. Actually, no, they don't. It just comes up this way, like this, and then down here there is not at all any any of that hard plastic. So if you end up getting it, just know that there is this plastic on the sides and on top, and then there's a flap that comes up right here, and there is a gap right here that you can actually turn upside down, and the game will move down. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, it's because of the gap between the book and the, the actual game itself. Now, it is open. It's all gone. And as you can see here is that plastic I was talking about. Out comes our book. We'll get to that in a moment. And out comes our still book. We'll also get to it in a moment. Here's our plastic. Um, interesting thing is it has game information on the back of it. Which I know with some steel books they do this plastic piece that comes around it like it did with the Alkira Chronicles, which I actually still need to open. And so there's the back of that. So it functions kind of like the little cases that you get with certain things like Oni Chambara, uh, Rocksmith, uh, Raven Kagura, things like that. Uh, Disgaea. And here's your hardcover book. Um, cool uh, cover to it. Nothing on the back of it. And then. Very neat little 
map type deal inside. And the only thing is that's odd is the pages are very oddly cut. I'm not really going to be able to see this too well, but that. I'm not sure if it's mimicking a journal. That's what we're trying to trying to get out of this or uh or what, but it is very the pages are very oddly cut. They're not even. Um kinda looks like somebody took a pair of scissors and, and cut them. The cool thing is is there's a a uh, couple of pieces of art in here I've noticed. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, here's the book. I'm looking forward to reading that, giving you guys an idea how that comes out as well. Right now it's a very cool steel book. This is a thin steel book. Um, very similar to the Order 1886 where that steel book feels. Not as heavy as like Dark Souls 2 or, or even uh, Beyond Two Souls. Um, inside, we do have stickers actually. And they're all over the place. So let me uh, do it this way. And there's also a Canary sticker. So you can see all that. So let me pull these out of the way. And there's also something else which is the voucher here for the official soundtrack. I was supposed to build and show you there's a code on the back, but there's a code on the back, so I don't really want to do that. Um, and then on top of that, there's just a standard warning page. A lot of, sweet, a lot of these have this thing. Uh, you know, seizures and things are likely, and then here's the inside of this case. Very pretty color for the case. Very neat piece to have. Very cool indeed. So with that being said, this is the entirety of both uh, Ghostbusters, which is not much to it, as well as the Song of the Deep. Um, very cool items. You can still order uh, Song of the Deep Collector's Edition through GameStop right now. They're the only retailer I know of. I believe it's because they have a hand in the creation of it. So if you're looking for a copy, the Collector's Edition was $29.99, Standard Edition is $14.99, available just about anywhere. So, uh, if you're looking for a really cool game, cheap, that's a great way to get like a little collector's piece, very cheap. Um, you get three stickers. I mean, that's great. You can, you can stick them on a guitar, or a car, or a PlayStation. I don't really suggest everybody stick it on a PlayStation. Um, but yeah, you put them on a controller. Custom controller then, right? That's how, that's how it works. So... Thanks guys for checking that out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there will be an opening of, uh, I think the next game in line will be No Man's Sky, which is pre-ordered. I didn't see any Majestic Edition for that. Uh, maybe I didn't look hard enough. I don't know. If there is, let me know and I'll find out. Uh, then after that, uh, Deus Ex is coming out, which I do have the Collector's Edition ordered on that. So there'll be an opening or a box opening of that. Um, which you know comes with the Adam Jensen uh, figurine, and then a lot of digital content, there's like vouchers and stuff, and then I think there's a book, an art book with it, and then the game itself in the steel book. So there's not a lot to it. You're mostly just getting a statue and then some digital vouchers. But at any rate, I'll show the sta I'll, uh, I'll show the statue off and let you guys check that out and see how that looks. Uh, I know some of them can look ugly and insane, so we'll see how that goes. And then, of course, in September, uh, off the top of my head, I know of XCOM and Final Fantasy. And so the Final Fantasy all unveiled. Uh, XCOM is probably going to look like Ghostbusters, but I haven't seen anything special on it yet. And then, of course, October is going to be phenomenal because we have uh, Mafia 3. I cannot get the collector's edition of that right now. So, unfortunately, I don't know how that's going to work out yet. I mean, still a few months to go. Um, got the collector's edition of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, or Dragon Ball Universe, uh, prepared and ready to rock and roll. Uh, the collector's edition of The Last Guardian, which is oh so great. And then uh, there will be the Skylanders coming out. All the new Magicite crystals they have, or Magicite or whatever it's called, uh, that Xander's going to be showing off. And then um, it seems like there's another game in there I'm forgetting. And if I can find one and I can get my hands on it, uh, I'll pre-order the VR. But the problem with the VR is, is you can't really show off anything cool because what I see compared to what you guys are going to see is going to be a completely different experience. And the only way it's really cool is if I record it like this and you guys see me jump around doing weird stuff. And if I do that, it's going to be hard for me to put the video in there for me and all. So 
This video doesn't seem like it's a really great idea to show you off to you guys, which I'll probably do it anyway with the PS camera roll and do it, but um, I don't know if you guys are going to enjoy that as much as, you know, say, just checking out cool gameplay videos and streams of the content that's going to already be there with, with Xenoverse and XCOM and uh, all that and, and Final Fantasy and Mafia, so uh, at any rate, I'm rambling on at this point. I hope you guys found that enjoyable at least, and check back when other games are going to be coming out. Um, the games I named off are the ones that I for sure will be picking up. Uh, other games that I have plans for, um, I know somewhere in there uh, Bioshock comes out, and I think there's a couple of others that I've let slip past, but um, the ones that I named off I know for sure I'm going to get. I'm not sure about Bioshock yet. I'm personally not a big Bioshock fan, but I might do it for the sake that it's a uh, remastered game, so I don't know. At any rate, thanks guys for checking this out. If you liked it, please hit that like button and give me some support. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos, more content, live streams, as well as unboxing and showing things off. Also, I'm on Twitter now, if you don't mind checking that out, at, at notgrayfo for Gray Fox, depending on which way I say foe instead of swank, because you guys know the proper spelling if you're looking for me on Twitter. So, check that out. I will leave notifications when I'm going to live stream and when cool things happen. And so, it's a little bit easier to keep up. So thank you guys for checking me out again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Great Fox out.